Hello everybody, welcome to Leet's Wine TV. I am your host Mark Fusco. Thanks for stopping in. We got another wine for you today. Uh, we've got the uh, Umani Ronchi, Ronchi, how about that? Uh, Verdicchio de, Dei Castelli di JC. Uh, this is a wine from the um, kind of western central part of Italy. Uh, it's called the, the March or the Marches. And uh, <clears throat> We got this at World Market for $4.88. Now, originally it was $9.97, and in my research I found places selling for $14. Bucks. So, yeah, $4.88. We couldn't pass up. We actually bought two bottles instead of just the one. So let's uh, check it out. So I'm getting kind of like some uh, some green apple, some sour apple off the nose. Mostly just that. Mostly some, some apple-y type sour type up. But yeah, off the bouquet. Let's check it out. So, immediately I'm getting good acid on it, um, though it's already starting to dissipate. So it's not long-lasting acid, and I'm still getting that kind of sour apple, green apple. Definitely. Uh, lots of apple to it. Uh, green apple, sour. Um, some acid, though it, it really disappears really quick. So it, it hits you initially uh, on the acid, and then it just kind of just goes away really quick. Um, same thing with the flavors. It doesn't really last very long. Um, I mean, it's definitely a, a, a pleasant wine. It's easy drinking. Um, you know, definitely, you know, summery, <clears throat> summery type of wine. So, uh... I mean, for five bucks, you can't go wrong. Uh, the original price on here from World Market, nine ninety seven. That's also a markdown. Um, you know, even at ten bucks, I'd say it's a pretty decent buy. But definitely five bucks. If you can go to World Market in your area and you can find this for five bucks, I'd go out and get it. Um, overall, I'd give it. Um, I'd give it an eighty four. I kind of want to go 85, but I don't know. 84 is a number that's just really just hitting me with uh, score-wise. So um, let's talk a little bit about, about this wine. Uh, so Verdicchio is a type of grape that's uh, in Italy, and it's pretty much grown in the March region of Italy. Like I said, it's, it's kind of like somebody described it as kind of like the calf of the boot. Uh, I'm not talking about a boot, like Canada. Um, so uh, and it's, <clears throat> it's the name of the varietal. And it's also um, uh, the the I'm sorry the appellation is um, uh, called Castelli de JC. Okay, so um, which I'm assuming means the Castle of Jesus, if if my Latin and Italian background gives me uh, any type of uh, stuff on that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> it's a uh, the, the word verdicchio actually is a derivative of the word verde, which is green, and it just means due to the light, slight green or yellow hue. Um, you can tell it, it's kind of green. I mean, you, you can see that. Um, so it's kind of like a little bit of a green color. And, you know, like I said, 84, it's, it's easy drinking. It's, it's pretty decent. Um, you know, especially for $5, I would totally, totally go for that. Um, I say it was 2007 vintage. If not, it was on the lower third. Uh, and I thought there was something else I wanted to talk about on here. No, not not really. Um, oh, alcohol. It's only 12.5. And the reason I'm saying this, I didn't taste really any alcohol on it, so uh, I was just kind of curious to see what it was. But uh, definitely a um, a good wine. That I I I mean a good you know, serviceable wine that, you know, for, for a summer day, 
I would totally be like, yeah, it's easy drinking, especially for five bucks. Even at ten, I think it's still worth looking at. If it was fourteen, I'd be like, no, stay away from it. All right, so uh, <clears throat> that's the wine portion of the show. So if you just want to watch the wine stuff, that's cool. But we're gonna do a few a little housekeeping, a little administrative work for the rest of the show. So this may go a little longer than my now I want to do. Well, we'll go into that. All right, so first of all, uh, some major changes. We're only going to do three wines a week. So what that means is we're going to do reviews Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday will be sommelier school. Now, why am I doing this? Well, the biggest reason is the economics. Um, now, I've got 20 to 30, depending on the episode, regular viewers now. I mean, that's actually jumped from about 10 to 20, even like a week, a week and a half ago. And while you guys are awesome, matter of fact, um, uh, I wanted to give a shout out to a couple areas of the world. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but uh, I check my stats every day to see where I'm getting hits from everywhere. Um, somebody is watching in Dion Le Mans in Belgium. Dude, whoever or girl, whoever you are, thank you. you. I think you've watched almost every single one. Or you've watched at least almost since the beginning. Uh, because I see, I see uh, that all the time. Um, we got somebody in Calgary. Um, and we also have somebody in Whitby, Ontario, Canada. Uh, so you guys have been watching a lot from my international viewers. I've got lots of viewers in San Antonio. I've got a group in Chicago. I got some people in Jersey. Um, so and these are people that I pretty much know personally. So you guys are great. I love it. Um, but let's just get real. I mean, this is I need to make some money off the site, at least enough to pay for the site and to pay for the wine. We're talking about fifty bucks a week in wine. So it starts adding up. Um, there's also a time factor, and I spend probably I spend probably 40 hours a week uh, on average doing the wine show, whether it's you know the actual podcast, doing the editing, waiting for the computer to do a lot of the stuff, uh, researching the wine. I spend 30 minutes to an hour, uh, sometimes a little bit longer on each wine as far as research, because some of these wines, it takes a while to find stuff, because all you find is things on Snooth which is a great website, um, but sometimes it doesn't really give you any information about the wine or trying to find anything about the winery. Um, so sometimes it takes a little longer, or I just, I just start going into, you know, besides looking up this, you know, I say, well, let's learn a little more about Verdicchio. You know, I know the name, I know it's a varietal, but let's, let's do a little more research on that. So it sometimes takes a little time to do these things. Um, Sommelier School takes a big chunk of time because I do a lot of reading, and it takes a while to write up the uh, write up the actual the actual written part and then the, sh the 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 outline doesn't take that long but it takes a little while to, to make the outline so all this comes down to it's, it's a lot of time and if this was my only job if I was actually in making income off of it that would be cool I that that's great but reality is I have to get a real job some point in time or this site has to take off really quickly um, so, and I don't see that happening in the next you know, month or two. Um, also, a few things. Every episode is on YouTube. However, not every episode can be viewed because there's that nasty little 10-minute time limit to, the, uh, to all the videos. Unless you're like a big dog and you can, you can put videos longer than 10 minutes up there. Uh, actually, you can get up to about 11 so I have a, there's a group of videos and definitely in the between that you're not going to be able to see on YouTube. You're, they're on the website. They're on Viddler. But the reality of it, YouTube has more eyeballs than any other video site out there. So hopefully you get some views on that. I uploaded everything that I hadn't uploaded uh, yesterday. So everything's on there, including, yeah, it's kind of link bait, but a Billy Mays, in, dude doing a Billy Mays impression. Yes, he did one on, on, last, on, on yesterday's episode. Uh, but we got him at Smashburger doing a Billy Mays thing. It was incredible. Um, what else we got? Um, oh, also, there still will not be any Samier School on YouTube. So it's just the uh, just the reviews. And folks, this is number 35. I've got almost two months of content. And, you know, while it's been great, I'm getting more and more followers. Um, it's still not enough. Um, more plans. And the, these, the, whether they come to fruition or not, you know, it, it depends on a lot of factors. But... The plan is uh, to do more in-depth sommelier school stuff. Now, this will be added value, added content that um, you'll have to pay for. Um, because if I'm going to go through 
and produce four to six hours of Bordeaux information, um, that's not going to be free content. You know, and that's just the reality of it. Um, on, on the side note with that, or, you know, part of that is if uh, anyone out there who's watching this or, you know, can, knows of sponsors or advertisers, you know, I'm going to try to start seeking some of those out myself. But if you've got a line on people, um, send them to the site, send them, you know, have them email me, contact me on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Um, I know I've got, uh, I've got something kind of in the works, but uh, a lot of scheduling has really prevented us from really getting together to discuss some, some syndication and, and sponsorship, but that's the plan. Um, <laughs> it seems like every single week there's something new that's preventing this person from, you know, from, from this person being able to meet with me. Uh, so hopefully after this week, we might be able to sit down. I'm not going to bother him this week. He's on his honeymoon. Um, and uh, uh, just like I've also got hopefully a line on getting some freebies uh, with, a, with somebody that's one of my mutual friends on Twitter. So we've got some things that are coming down the road. Uh, potential tasting, an actual organized wine tasting at a wine bar. Um, this Friday we're going to do kind of an organized tasting at Sales by Five. So that, you know, we're going to try to do some different things. And uh, these are things that, um, you know, to, to provide added value to the website. And so it's not just, hey, this guy reviews one bottle a weekend. Yeah, he talks for about 30 minutes about, you know, an area of, of whatever, area of the world on wine. Try to give you re people reasons to come to the website and spend money. You know, this is meant to be a business more than just, you know, me just putting out content. Not that I don't like doing it. I love it. Um, but uh, <clears throat> the hope is that eventually I can get back to doing five a week. But you got to make some money on it, um, whether it's the site takes off or my job allows me to, to spend a little extra money on the site more than just three days a week. Um, but once if I get a, quote, real job, it may stay to three days a week just because of time restraints. I mean, it's going to take a while. Um, there was, oh, and uh, besides the three a week, if I, I'm able to score some... Uh, free wine, which very likely will be above the $10 limit, then those will be kind of like extra episodes, special episodes. So, you know, I'll do three that week of the normal stuff, and then if I get some freebies from a winery that I'm going to review, um, that might be a Thursday or a Friday episode. Um, so it's extra content. But it's all out there to uh, let you guys know what's going on. I know this is going to be a long video, and a half the video, over half the video I talked about what's going on. And I don't want you to think that the show's going away anytime soon. It's, it's not. Um, I mean, I, I really hope that this thing continues for a lot longer, and I've got some great people that I've been talking with. It's just things run, things take a while. Uh, it's not like things happen tomorrow, which is frustrating uh, when this is the only thing you got going on. But um, we got some, you know, some good plans with some people, and uh, I've got some great ideas from a few people recently about what to do with the site. So I thank you for sticking around and listening to this big, uh, this big long talk. Uh, like I said, the wine, I definitely would recommend it uh, as long as it's 10 bucks or under. If it's above 10 bucks, uh, I'd, it's not worth it for that much money, but it's an 84, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, about to record tomorrow's episode right now for this wine. Um, so we've got some, you know, I've got some good things coming, and uh, thanks for stopping in. We'll see everybody again next time.